I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. So, uh, next topic. Um, so, uh, do y'all see what's going on right now with DJ Mustard and um his now um ex wife? Hey, oh, hit here him with child go. support. That's what I try to do. <laughs> Yeah, on child <laughs> so basically, <laughs> DJ Mustard's ex-wife is seeking eighty thousand per month in child support. <laughs> My goodness, let me just read a little bit of this. So, uh, DJ Mustard's uh, formal spouse, uh, Chanel uh, Theory, is demanding over eighty k in child support. The Blast reports that Theory is asking for reasonable support. Wow, in amount of eighty two thousand six hundred and twenty eight for all three of their children however the total acts could change based on a pending review of mustard's 2022 earnings and can go up as high as a hundred and twenty thousand. my god after forensic review chanel claims her attorneys concluded that mustard's 2020 adjustment gross income was over 10 million dollars but while they wait for 2022 she demands a temporary support order uh, order. Uh, meanwhile, uh, per their premarital agreement, the DJ's ex-wife will receive thirty-five thousand monthly in spousal support. My God! It also th- states that Mustard will uh, true up his support payments from June first to twenty twenty-two to present. On top of that figure, she also seeks a supplementary sixty thousand from the Pure Water producer to true uh, to true up the support payments he has made thus far. My. God. God, um, who want to start with well, this? He should have treated her right. Come on, come God on. If he would have treated her right, he, she would never be trying to do this to him. But we know what he was doing, and he's popping. He one of the hottest producers out here, and you making that money, and you had a wife, and you did her wrong, and she felt like she had to get you for all you got, and the way you get to do is through his pockets. pockets. So take all that money. Look, I'm trying to hit a lick on And she was, weren't they together (laughs) before? They were together before he was. uh, Yeah, she just, she got to maintain the lifestyle. That's a lot, though. Her and, uh, what, what Dre's wife? (laughs) But how many years did she spend in that hell? So it probably was good at one point, but it gets rocky. And they had to deal with all that and put up with all that. They deserve it. Every dollar. Are you serious? The judge. I'm so serious. Okay. Did you hear the total of all of that, right? <laughs> 80,000 plus well, the 60,000 so plus the 35,000. You add all of that up. You talking about over 150,000 a month. But is he doing that? I mean, DJ Mustard is popping. Is he doing that well? It don't matter. What, what you going to do with 150,000 a month? Well, he going to do with 150,000 a month. He went out there and worked hard and made it. So what are we talking about? Another chick, the chick that it, broke him up. No, no, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm not. No, take. No, run me my 125. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Every third. No, no. Take care. <laughs> take care of the. Take care of your kids. Take care of everything. Uh-huh. But take care of your kids. It's he an already, unreasonable amount, to be honest. Man, and I was looking what? at. Thank you, bro. I was looking at. <laughs> um, no, no, come back to this side. <laughs> Let's Don't go with Paul. It's, 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 it's outlandish. <laughs> And first of all, I was looking at um, <laughs> Dr. Dre's wife's her breakdown on why she was asked to come. Up. Why is say she needed ten thousand for a, la- a laundry service? Like crazy stuff Thank like you. that. Preach it real. Preach it. Well, like preach that's it real. How she was living. Though. Preach it real. Wait, real is talking, Emirati. <laughs> Let real, let real oh, finish. Oh, <laughs> see the Lord let, has just changed. Let real, <laughs> real, let, go on and finish what you're saying, off. real. Take shit off. <laughs> hey, no, it's looking crazy. good on you too. It's looking good on you too, Emirachi. You know, go on and finish, real. Go on and finish what you're saying. It's crazy. I understand her wanting to maintain her lifestyle. I get that, but you can do that with less than that. Yeah, I agree. I, mean, I agree. Can. I agree with real, Emirachi. I agree with real. You got okay, cool. But I can still save that and help invest in our kids' future because you're not doing that when you're out in the club and bopping around with each chick that is the reason why we're not even together no more. So send it over here. I'll hold it. No. <laughs> Real talk. I'll hold look, it. No. Look, look. Take like I said, all I agree. This, the money you look. can from these men. They will drag wow. you to the pits of hell if you let them. This is why I say, man, I always say these three things right care. here. 150. Prenup. Prenup number one. Make sure as soon as the kid come out, DNA test. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Damn. 100%. You got to do the DNA test. How? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? If you're I said as soon as the kid come out. 
if you're in a faithful relationship, you shouldn't have to do that. No, no I'm saying, you know, as soon as the kid come out, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that you, <laughs> hey, I'm, I forget about all of that. I don't care. We've been together for two, 10 years. I, I, I'm getting a DNA test. You know what I'm saying? Dang. And, 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 I, and I straight up tell dudes this 100%. <laughs> if you do end up having a child, put your own self on child support first because it's coming. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? Put your own self on <laughs> child support men. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of men like to wait, but I'm telling you, it's going to come at some point in time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come. If you act right, it won't come. No, that ain't true. That ain't true. That ain't true. You know what I'm saying? That ain't true. Look at you. You thinking about a come up. You think that ain't 100,000 more ladies out there thinking about the same thing? You got to be ahead of the game as a man. I always say as a a man, you got to be 10 steps ahead. Yeah. All right? 10 steps ahead. There's no reason to to just be mingling with just all the broke dudes. There's no reason for that because that's just more heartache and stress for no reason. The, what do you mean? All, what's broke? What do you mean a bro dudes? Here we go. What's broke? Into that what's broke? I probably got a couple boyfriends watching. <laughs> so, no, 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 let's, I don't let's, want to show my no, let's, let's cards talk, here today. Let's talk about that. <laughs> what's broke to you? No, no, I'm just being funny. No, no. Okay. So, so you're not saying anybody was broke. I just want to know. Well, so you're not saying, so is, is normal every day, the average 54,000. Is that broke to you? Well, what? I'm looking for is a little more than that. Is that broke? <laughs> is fifty four? Yeah, is fifty four? <laughs> is fifty four thousand broke to you? It's not enough. It's not gonna be enough. So that when you say the word broke, are you I talking mean, about those guys? I don't know, Paul. You know? <laughs> I'm not because you used to know. Bria, what do you think? I don't think fifty four is broke. You know you're talking about those guys. You know you're talking about that. And that is wrong. I'm that is wrong. Hey, see, I'm sorry, real. What was you saying, real? Let's go back to real. Real. Let's hear what you got to say, real. I was answering your question. I don't think 54 is broke. No. Man, real is broke. No, not broke. Not real broke. is killing it today. Real is killing it. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, want, yeah. You know? Yeah, but I, look, they said reach for the stars. They trying to get all the BBL hoes. I'm if, trying to get to the money. If, if you, if you had, if you had a good one, real, a really good. You know, strong guy. You know, uh, um, that that was taking care of his business, holding down his household, and everything like that, making fifty four k. Are you okay with that, real? I am. However, like, what's I? We need plans. Hey, or what? Finish, let me just do that. Shout out to real. Okay, <laughs> so you can finish it. Definitely, but you know, we. What's the plan? You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. What are we what's the plan? doing? That's just like saying, would you date a dude that work at McDonald's? Yeah, but it's like, what's your? You mean me? Like, would no. I date a girl? You mean? He what Paul would. Would I date a girl? I I, I definitely date a girl at McDonald's on the fries. <laughs> Paul, Paul. <laughs> I just want peace. You know what I want. I just want some peace. It's hard to get that nowadays. You see blue face and Christine, right? I just want some peace. You know what I'm saying? You know? Your give me some come with a price tag. Give me some peace. Support peace. me, you know, and every once in a while. You know what I mean? I want a little massage here and I give you a massage too, but I want one too. You know what I'm saying? Give me that. We good. I got the I got the money part of it, but just give me some of that. We good, you know. So yeah, I date the girl at McDonald's on the fries. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. But I do think it's important that a woman do have a man that is doing something hard work and something got to be going on. Right. I don't think that a woman should be dating a man that's at McDonald's on the fries. I didn't, so I didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was waiting. So for I didn't. So you know, I never. He better not. No, ask no, no. You, <laughs> hey, you already know. I got on that board behind a uh, uh, real no finance, no romance. So you already know how I feel about that. You know. Yeah. But if a dude is making fifty four thousand, he is not broke, Emirati. I didn't say broke. See, you I did didn't say even broke. Say that. I said it's not enough for, for me because mm-hmm. I'm looking for. They said reach for the stars. Why would I? No, I already tried that broke route. Well, you could be the one making most of the. Well, you could be the one yeah, making yeah, most of the cool money too. in a that's relationship. Cool too, you then, could just be with a beta guy. You know, a guy that you know he's not really the. You know, the masculine. You know, uh, well, you know, I alpha know. type. You know, so. I don't know about that. You know, you be running the show yeah. in with your relationships. You already know. <laughs> Talking about you be beating niggas up and all that. You be saying all that. You oh, already know. Crazy. So let's not even do that. You know, let's not even do that. At the end of the day, though, going back to mustard, this this is this is wrong. You know, um, this is why I say you got to protect yourselves, man. This is why I say focus on. And, and, and this is one thing I will say, and I will give her this. He was with her before he got into the industry. Yes. I will give her that part right there. Right. Yep. And this is why I always say as a man, focus on building yourself up first. Get to where you need to be before you bring on a family. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you are ready to. Hey, I'm going to line everything up. Right. So if anything happened, 
hey, she's going to be taken care of and my kids are going to be taken care of, but I'm not going to be put in a situation where the courts are deciding how much money is getting taken out of my pocket. No. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you got all your stuff lined up right before getting into anything serious. Well, you know? things get bitter in the process. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's yeah, when the that... courts get involved because now I can't reach you. Now you're calling me names. Now you're going off the line, off the hook. Okay, I'm taking you to court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I agree. That's that's why I think is in, that's why no, not that part. But that <laughs> But that's why I say as a man, you got to have everything lined up before you even go out there looking for any of that. You got to be ready and prepared. And nowadays, a lot of men are not in that position, you know. So, I mean, hey, when it comes down to this situation, I'm not going to all the way fault her. But when you let the courts and the lawyers start to chirp in them ears, this is what happened. So I, heard, I hope that men are learning a valuable, valuable uh, lesson from situations like this. I really do. You know, at the end of the day. So, uh. Well, so, women yeah. too. You what do you mean she winning? Do. She just Aim she high. just she pocketed about 150 yeah, plus. But uh, that's that's a that's a lesson to us women. Don't aim look, you gotta aim high <laughs> because that's when you hit that real lick. How you many? <laughs> how you, know do. you know what I mean? Paying nannies, living like trying to do, get a new whip. It doesn't happen if you would have broke, dude. You got to hit a lick up there. They all gonna be cheating and lying. Don't matter. They all dogs. How many so DJ grab the best dog? I don't believe men. All I mean, men are dogs. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Hold up. How many DJ Mustards you think is out there? Yeah. DJ, Here DJ, we go with this conversation. DJ, yeah, we have this conversation no, no, no. about how many five percent or ten. How many? 10 DJ percent? Mustard. No, he's in the one percentile. DJ Mustard. It's not a lot of DJ Mustards yeah. out there. And I already told you when they even come down to making six figures, it's only about ten to twelve percent of men. So how many men you think is going to be out there that could, women can break off and do all of this other stuff? It ain't happening. It ain't even enough of them out there to do that so to. How, so how are they finding them then? Where no, are these they? are just the stories that we're hearing. Yeah. But can you sit there and say that uh, uh, all your group of friends and people that you know is out there doing this? No, you can't. Heavy on a where are they? Heavy on the where are they? <laughs> yeah, Man. yeah, exactly. That's what I'm I mean, it's, it's not a lot. It's not a lot, but they're so you're gonna there. waste you're gonna waste your time going out there looking for a lick, no, no, and not no, looking for no. a you're formal for good man to marry no, one day. You're looking and for love, okay? We're looking. You for said love. a lick. No, well, okay. Love lick. Is <laughs> I do. I am gonna hit a lick on my next one. I will say that, but oh hell, I no. do. Y'all hear this? <laughs> Y'all know I to do, stay away. I, no, stay I, away. That's why I like to she talk. She said you a lick. <laughs> Thank you for being <laughs> Men! She said you no. a oh, lick. I do think that we should aim for higher men because it's hard to get men in control. But what is higher men? That's what I'm like saying. What do you mean? Men that are doing better. You can't aim for like a guy that's just working at McDonald's or working at Ross. Like, but but what do you mean by better? You got we got to no, we got to break this down and in, get to what you're really trying to say. In goals, in life, in dreams, in vision because they're going to be acting doggish anyway. What if he don't got it right then and there? That's what I'm saying. Like what do you together, mean? Together, but I got to see the vision. So fit so 50 is cool then, right? I'm for, just saying, if, if you go in start, thinking of a number right I, then and I'm there. I'm thinking of numbers. And I never said 50 was broke. What I said was it might not be enough. So you, so, But you ain't going to pass up a dude that's making 50 if he a good dude and he treating you right. Right? Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. I know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm and and see and that see, <laughs> I don't know, man. see and that's the problem. That that's one of the problems. I really I, tried that. No, look, but that's one of the problems because a lot of times uh, a lot of women out here are looking for ghosts. They're not here. <laughs> it, it's it's they're not here. It's a lot of you know you know fifty two to fifty four percent of men out here are single and childless. But a lot of women ain't going towards that's that's a, that's a fact. Fifty one fifty two no to fifty four percent of men over the age of eighteen are single and childless. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Another 25 to 30 percent of men are married, right? Okay. It's only about 18 to 19 percent of men when it come down to uh, 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 what you ladies are talking about. I'm gonna say between 15 to 18 percent of men are what you're talking about when you're looking for oh a man that's making this extravagant amount of money. And guess what? No. And guess what? And guess what? <laughs> Over 90 percent of women are looking for that man. Mm -hmm. So who? So who are you looking for? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
<laughs> so that how, so how that man got many tell options. Me where they at. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So so he at. so he got many options. So I'm saying why not look at the men out there who are in that range of making fifty to sixty K that are really good men. That'd be yeah. a really good father, husband, right. whatever, right? right. Why right. pass up on those dudes? They hard workers. Well, God is the giver of beauty, grace, and wisdom. And if you have a little more than others, you better use it. No, because you're looking for a lick. <laughs> you're looking for a DJ Mustard. <laughs> 